Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked to sketch the graph of the function f to state the value of each limit as it exists. If it does not exist, explain why. So we have uh, three functions here that form the piecewise function f of x. And so we're going to graph this function. So we have these certain values, right? And the easiest way to graph these functions is to graph them in their entirety and then do the domain restrictions. So we're going to graph them. So we have 1 plus sine of x and sine of x. So let's start with sine of x. Right? This is just one of the standard functions we learn. And your book has this for reference if you need it but you should be familiar with the sine function, at least from negative two pi to two pi. And then of course it's cyclical from there. One plus sine of x using the transformations we learned in the last chapter is just sine of x moved up one unit. And so that looks a little bit like this. Where we've simply moved the function up one unit. And then cosine of x, um, we can actually ignore for a second because it'll get a little complicated. First, let's just graph these in on their respective domains. So one plus sine of x up here goes up to zero for all negative numbers. So x is less than zero. So we start at x is equal to zero. We draw an open circle because it's not actually equal to zero. It's just x is less than zero. And then we do all the negative numbers for which x is less than zero. Doing that, we can erase the pencil because we've restricted it to its domain. We have also have sine of x for x is greater than pi. So x is equal to pi is here. So we draw an open circle and then draw it beyond. Now we can erase the other parts of the function for sine of x. And now we can draw in cosine of x only on the domain in which we need it. So we start here at x is equal to zero, and we see that it goes like this and like this. So we have two open circles that we can fill in because the function is equal to cosine of x at those values. So this is the graph of the function. We're asked to see if the limits exist for all of these values. And we can state that the limit as x approaches a of f of x, this limit exists for what values? So for everything to the left of this graph, we're just on one plus sine of x, and it's continuous just like it is here up until the point that we end looking at this function and it switches over to cosine of x. We can see when we switch off in functions that they approach the same point, right? This function and this function both go to zero as x goes to zero. So therefore, the limit still exists, continuously, continuously down, and the limit does not exist at x is equal to pi. Right here, from the left, it approaches negative one, from the right, it approaches zero, so it's not continuous. And then after pi, we continue on, and it's continuous all the way throughout because we're just on sine of x. So this limit exists if x is not equal to pi. If we're not at this point right here, the limit of the function exists. 